So hello everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you how to create a lollipop chart that has divergent values, positive and negative values. There is a small trick that you need to use and I'm going to show you how to do it. So the data that we have here is uh, population change for each country and then I have two measures. I have one measure that has uh, Origin equals zero, and this is needed in order to be able to tell chart clearly that there is a, a, a break line, and then there is a another one called value type that basically indicates if the value is positive or negative. You can see it here. So positive values are p, and negative values are n, and we're going to use that for conditional formatting. So let's copy these. First of all, make sure that you update uh, Charticulator because a new version has been released. So go here and do get more visuals and up, update, it, update it. And then we're going to get, click on Charticulator. Good. Okay. Now we're going to move all the values to data bucket. And we don't need this anymore. We're going to go to edit and create chart. Beautiful. Okay. So. The first thing that we're going to do, because this is a vertical chart, we're going to stack it on the Y. See how beautiful charting layer is looking? You can now do nested charts too. So cool. Okay, so now that we have it, you zoom out a little bit, and then you, with the data axis, you are going to create from here to there. So from this side to that side. And you're going to drop the population change and the origin into the chart, okay? We're going to now, um, where is it? There's the position to the opposite. I mean, they have now made all the menus visible, which I absolutely love. I think it's a really, really great update. This we're going to make white, maybe a little bit grayish like that. And now we're going to create the line for the lollipop. So you get to the line and then you need to grab the one in the middle to the one in the middle from average to average. Right? So you, it has to be there in the middle. Now here we want to have a line. Well, I want to have it. Maybe you don't want to. Then skip this step. Line there. Okay. And now we want to have a the circle for the lollipop, put it in there, so, and I want to have the uh, text value, and the text value I want to anchor it to the axis, not to the, to the ball. Make sure that it is anchored in the correct position. You want to have it always in the middle, put it in there, Perfect. We're going to turn it upside down because the negative values are on the top, but we don't want that. Just turn it upside down. We're going to bind the country to the text. Going to make it a little bit smaller. Need to select it first. And then make it a little bit smaller. So another thing that we need to do in order to make the text appear where it has to be is to condition when the value should be shown. And for that, we're going to use this value type column, positive and negative. So I'm going to drop the value type in here and then open here the properties and say, show this only when it's positive. And then it will show me only the positive values. And I am going to now drop a new text box. Well, it's not going to get dropped in there, but okay. Mm. And I'm going to put it for the negative values. So doing the same thing, move it here. Then I'm going to add bind country to it and make it a little bit smaller. A little bit closer. And now we need to do the exact same thing, condition the visibility of this. We want to show that when it's only negative. Now, if you just drop the value type to condition here when you have selected text two, you're going to see that, I'll show you, it's probably the best way. 
So I drop it in here and you're gonna see, wait, sorry, I drop it in here and you're gonna see that it follows the certain condition as before, so you cannot do that. You need to shift and drop. And if you do that, then you will be able to bind it again and make conditions for it again. So you now want to show only the negative values. And the last thing that we need to do is basically color it. So we have the lollipop line is there. We're going to color it by uh, by the value type. Given some nice colors, we're going to get, I don't know, like greenish and orange, for example, like that. So to condition and format the circle, you click the symbol and then you put the value type on the field and then you will respect the colors that you've already chosen. And that's it. Well, then you can put values in here and then you can format it any way you like. One of the beautiful things about Charticular now is it actually respects the text. You will see it here. So everything is stacked inside the chart. I think it's absolutely lovely. And this is how easy it is to create the lollipop chart. So give it a go. You can download the file on Crivel.com resources download center and then just pick the diversion chart, which is probably going to be 14 or 15. See you next week. Bye.